Future historians will refer to the Vietnam War as the Drug War, akin to the British Opium Wars of the 19th century. Through Operation Air America, the CIA sold huge quantities of heroin to the troops at giveaway prices to get them addicted. One Vietnam veteran told this writer, They sold it to us so cheap. I don't see how they could have made any money off us. I don't know why they did it. When the troops returned home, they discovered the price of the CIA's heroin had greatly increased. The CIA may have lost money selling heroin to the troops in Vietnam, but they more than made it back when the troops returned home. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Uh, that was a little bit from uh, the conspiracy reader from the deaths of JFK and John Lennon to government-sponsored alien cover-ups. Um, I want to talk about a couple things today. First off, a little blast from the past. Uh, Lynette Squeaky Fromm, uh, released from prison in Texas. Uh, she was notoriously linked to Charles Manson and the family. Uh, was in prison for the so-called attempted assassination of Gerald Ford. Uh, she's out of prison. Um, as far as I know, she hasn't given any interviews or talked uh, um, about any of her activities or Manson or any of that stuff for quite some time. And I know that she has refused an interview recently. Uh, so, um, interesting. Maybe uh, she'll have something to say about what you know, what went on uh, all those years ago and, uh, you know, what uh, specifically she was trying to accomplish by going after Gerald Ford, a.k.a. Leslie Lynch King. Uh, the other topic of great discussion is uh, the uh, town hall meetings and um, what's going on with the health care reform issue. Now, um, <clears throat> There has been a lot of talk from both sides of the political spectrum as though there are two sides. I still see people putting uh, uh, videos out there that are, are attempting to draw a demarcation between the right and the left in this country as far as um, top-down political policy, which is all a bunch of fucking bullshit. The right and left in this country as top-down uh, power brokers are in fact the same. There's no difference between them. Uh, there is a false dichotomy amongst the people still, so you have this issue on the street level, which there are people who foolishly believe, oh, I'm, I'm conservative, I'm on the right, and then there are other people who just as foolishly believe I'm on the left and my leaders are the people, the Democrats on the left, and the foolish uh, you know, Republican conservatives think the Republicans are on their side which is all a total bunch of bullshit, quite frankly. So uh, what the people need to realize is that their positions do not in any way reflect on the positions of the leaderships of the parties because the leaderships of both parties are the same. And their agenda is the same. Everything about them is the fucking same. Period. Okay. So trying to draw a dichotomy between the two is pointless, fruitless, and ridiculous. Only insofar as you need to point out to people on the street who are the ones protesting that you are being used to serve an agenda. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, having said that, talking about, you know, the supposed left wing coming out to, to uh, you know, have ACORN bus in, you know, opposition to the people opposed to health care uh, and, and uh, to give support to Barack Obama and his, uh, you know, health reform platform uh, as opposed to the supposed uh, terrible Republican right-wingers who, who um, you know, are trying to oppose any kind of reform efforts. What's being lost in all of this discussion, I think, is that uh, whether they're right, left, whatever you want to call them. There are a lot of people who are attending these events who are just regular, everyday people. And the good thing about that is that these are regular, everyday people who are becoming active politically. And this is vitally important in order to affect any kind of change in this country. 
You know, I would urge all of these people to throw out their fucking political convictions that they think they hold and that they think their representatives hold for them because they don't, they won't, and they never will. There's no such thing as a liberal or left-wing congressman. There's no such thing as a right-wing Republican congressman. They're all the same. The Republicans, Democrats, absolutely no difference between them. They might have a little bit of a different spin on how they want to get to that end goal, but they both have the same end goal. So, um, i got to say uh, that it's a very good thing. And I have nothing but good things to say about this sort of thing that's happening right now. And uh, I know my friend Ella has talked about, uh, you know, rabble rousers at the crowds and not being, uh, you know, um, polite and, and uh, you know, causing dis disruptions and things like that. And I know some other people have talked about similar things. And I know that there has been talk uh, on the other side as well. Uh, but my own personal position is that the Congress and Senators have gotten a free ride for too long. There's many times that we have, you know, literally woken up the next day to find that Congress has given themselves a pay raise without, you know, anybody having any input into this. Um, or that uh, we have seen our desires totally uh, destroyed and totally ignored in order for them to push forward an agenda that they voted on, you know, practically in secret. You know, and now that we have people who are actually interested in trying to, you know, get their point of view across, I have absolutely no pity on congressmen or senators who are getting lambasted at these town hall meetings and who are getting an earful of what their constituents think. And <clears throat> God forbid that they go back to Washington and they pass a monstrous form of health reform, which is what the Obama plan is. It's a mishmash of a whole bunch of different things that really doesn't add up to much reform in my view. Okay, but I've already talked about my health care position, so you know what that is. Um, but God forbid these people go back to Washington and ignore the howls of, of their constituents on this issue. And uh, I think that we're going to find out one way or another, people. We're going to find out once and for all. Who do these people in Washington serve? Do they serve the people? Or do they serve special interests, big money, and corporations? I think the latter. And if it is the latter, then they're going to be forced to ignore the howls of their constituents. And let us only hope that they pay the price for that at some point down the road. Thank you.